Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Book Talk 360. It is a video segment where I talk about the comic books that I've uh, read, um, some issues regarding characters, um, good conversational issues, as well as comic books that I read, as well as getting some feedback from you guys who watch this video. Um, so a friendly little conversation, for especially for those who are diehard comic book fans. And before I get on to some, because originally I was going to do a review, so I'm going to do this as a two-part video, so expect the second one to be out uh, pretty much back-to-back uh, -back this week. Um, one of the videos I wanted to talk about is this here. I have uh, picked up a relaunch or of the old um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics, and I was going to talk about this, my overall feeling towards this book. Uh, I need to say it's very positive, and uh, give my own take on this as well as the 2014 date of the movie that's going to be uh, released. Um, however, I felt the need to talk about something else as well, and so I'm going to split the videos into two parts. Well, basically, just two, two videos, but I really had to talk about it because as of late. Uh, a lot of people has been reacting to the Spider-Man 700 in a way that I am still shocked because A, this, we went through this before, and B, really guys, you're, you're really that upset that you're now giving death threats to the guy? Um, and the only reason why I'm even bringing this up is because this actually, this story was so deep that it actually made... Um, a weekly free newspaper called The Village Voice. Now, for those who don't, I don't know how far or widespread The Village Voice is. I only know them as a New York um, affiliate. Uh, and what The Village Voice does, uh, it covers a lot of main um, topics. Um, one main topic, that is, um, throughout the, the week, one that they, um, they, uh, they cover from police corruption to um, stuff regarding um, fraud, or major stories that um, they feel deserve to get our attention. So it was to my surprise to see in the front cover. And in the second video, I will probably, if they still have it, some have it on um, display, I was stunned to see a cover of Spider-Man with tears in his eyes, and it says Spider-Man, uh, the man who killed Spider-Man, and it then had a question mark uh, for good. And I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. I thought that, oh, uh, I guess it's going to end um, the Broadway show. I, but I, I didn't see why, because the Broadway show, despite their early problems, have been pretty much a success. Um, it's going on a year and a half now, so I did not see that that was the main issue. But then when I read the actual, actual article, it explains in full detail what Spider-Man 700 and how... Um, this editor has been getting death threats and uh, how people was basically fed up with the way the Spider-Man situation gone. And in case um, you haven't read or haven't heard the news, um, there was a situation in the Spider-Man comic series where <coughs> Peter Parker and Doc Ock, Doc Octopus, had switched bodies. And Peter Parker was in a dying body of, Oct of, of Doc Ock. And apparently, uh, he's basically, you know, you see him flatline and you see uh, Spider-Man just basically, or in this case, Doc Ock, who's portraying Spider-Man, walk away. And for when I first heard about it, because I heard about it from, um, from, from Combo Cast, I, I was like, well, it doesn't surprise me. Um, it, this is look like it's going to be one of those things where they're trying to shake things up. And that's what it really is. They're trying to shake things up trying to get people interested in reading and as usual you have the the situation that we have now people are going to react to it uh, most likely in negative light they did it with Captain America they did it with Superman they did it with uh, with the Batman and uh, sometimes it works sometimes it don't I don't know if this is going to work or not um, I do know that there a lot of people are reacting uh, with utter disgust and uh, <coughs> in a way it, I, I, I gotta say I gotta admit um, it shocks me a little bit how they are reacting because, again, the stuff I've just told you, the comic books that I've showed, and including be beyond that in the 70s, this does not surprise me at all. Um, this does not shock me a least bit, and it doesn't shock me because of one to few things. One, I don't think Peter Parker is dead. Um, if he is dead, they're going to find some crazy, unlogical thing to bring him back um, eventually. 
and that's pretty much be the end of it. Um, I don't think this is going to be a long-term thing. Again, I just think this is a way of sh uh, shocking people to get people to read um, the comic books again. Because let's be honest here. Uh, if we really want to be honest, I'm going to stick with the Spider-Man in general. And this is just also towards me. I have lost interest in, interest in the Spider-Man comic books years ago. Um, largely because of the way they was dealing with his storyline. Largely because of the fact they had a whole bunch of, of, of Spider-Man um, series um, that was out there. They actually rebooted him at one point where they gave him a somewhat of a, Japan, a young kid Japanese origin. Um, it was the weirdest read I ever had. And that series actually killed off. Oh, man, we found out that, that uh, Spider-Man's mother happens to be um, the leader of this spider cult. Uh, it was the weirdest story I've ever heard. Uh, I can't stand Spider-Man 2099. I don't know, there's a lot of fans that liked it. I don't. Uh, so there's a lot of Spider-Man series. But for making it aside, um, besides from the Amazing Spider-Man, which is actually Amazing Adventures, that was the really the only one I actually cared for. I didn't really care for Spectacular. There were some few good, few good issues that I actually liked. Webb was there. Then you had Peter Parker. Then you had Spider-Man. Uh, God knows how many Spider-Mans they have. I, I'm pretty sure Webb and, and Peter Parker Spider-Man no longer is in circulation. But you get my drift. There were so many stories. And yet, it, just the quality of the story seemed to diminish over the years. And that was a lot of things that... Uh, that was a lot of the... Due to the fact that... They didn't let the character grow, and when they, you know, and that was the problem. They didn't let the character grow um, to the point where it's like, damn, he's really facing these same issues. Haven't you learned from the last time? And that was the big issue with me with the character. Um, but other than that, uh, there was also a lot of stuff I did not like at all, and that was largely because of the way they treated the marriage of uh, Peter Parker and Mary Jane. You pretty much know what I'm getting for that that one more day comic. Um, and that's largely because the, the, the best stories that I read from Spider-Man were the stories that it was mostly relatable. Uh, the, the one of the stories that I actually liked is when, um, Peter and Mary Jane had moved back with Aunt May, uh, because of some incidents, uh, Mary Jane doesn't have the money as she used to, and they were forced to live out, live out of, out of their home, um, that pretty much forced their hand to live with Aunt May. And it was a story where you had a situation where one of the relatives, I believe, on uh, I believe it was related to uh, to um, Aunt May side of the family, was stealing from 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 her. Um, turns out he had a gambling problem, and you start to see you start to see a relatable characters. All of them was relatable. You saw Peter Parker talking to Mary Jane about the situation. You see how he reacts to the family issues. And when he became Spider-Man, it, was, it wasn't him facing a, uh, a super villain. He was actually seeing facing casual thugs. Um, but there was more personal matter to, to, to the storyline. And this was due to the fact that Eddie Brock, a.k.a. Venom, was actually escaping from his, um, from his facility. Um, he was uh, in a super uh, confinement uh, that I believe the Fantastic Four had made for him. And he managed to escape. He got stronger again. And he managed to escape, and that pretty much brought back the second confrontation between him and Spider-Man. And it, but one of that story before that happened, you had that story that that occur, and I actually enjoyed that story more so because it was relatable. You had an actual crisis, and most of the Peter Parker stories is when he's dealing with with uh, real life. Um, family issues and real life crisis, and I think that was the main key that I actually uh, thought they should have actually worked in the Spider-Man character a lot more. And the fact that they didn't do that, and the fact that they actually written that marriage off as if nothing because they felt uh, that it holds back superheroes, whatever the hell, whatever, whatever BS they try to pull, I felt that was wrong. I felt that was totally online, and that was one of the re first time I say that every fan of Spider-Man had the right to be angry because it was a lame excuse. Um, no matter what they uh, what they tried to um, spin it, it was a lame excuse just to keep Spider-Man, um, Peter Parker, the way he is. And I think that was the main thing that actually um, sealed the deal with me in terms of the comic book adaptation. It was also one of the things that why I actually applauded. The ultimate, ultimate, the ultimate Spider-Man, because we have a new, fresh look at Spider-Man, 
Um, even though a lot of people was against it, I thought it was a good idea because it is a different um, alternate universe towards the actual Spider-Man series that everybody's going used to seeing. Um, but that was just one of the main, one of the many things I had a problem with. And uh, this one here, again, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me at all that they decided to do this. And I think that, uh, I, I think they are very desperate because for one thing, that one more day comic hurt them a lot more than what they realized. Um, they really did got hurt. The Civil War really did hurt the series because the, the, a lot of stuff that happened in the Civil War. Uh, really did reflect it on what happened to Spider-Man. It affected Spider-Man more than any other of the characters in that whole entire series. Um, and it, it was a weird, weird story tale with, with him, Spider-Man, what happened to Aunt May, he getting back in black and everybody said he's going to be back, he's going to be wearing black permanently, which never happened. It was just, uh, it was just, you could smell the, the, the writing on the wall that something was going to change and eventually they did it where they basically wiped the slate clean. He has his webbings back, which I didn't mind that part. Uh, but again, I think that uh, the fans were very, very, very bitter that they did that. Because I really think they actually loved the character of Mary Jane. Um, the same way where some people was like was stunned that uh, they actually killed off. Uh, Gwen Stacy, but Mary Jane was a more unlikable character, at least from from my perspective. Uh, I know a lot of people disagree with that, but that's this is just my opinion, of course. Um, so to see what they did to the marriage, and the reason why they did the marriage was more, um, <clears throat> was more of a slap in the face, not only towards uh, their character development, uh, what they went through over the years, uh, but also the slap in the face of the fans because uh, they because they feel that they they couldn't handle um, growth within that character and I think Linkara who actually did One More Day um, had probably that was one of his best reviews because he brought up a lot of stuff that I actually do agree with and I think that uh, a, lot of, a lot of these companies need to start realizing that sometimes it's okay for a character to develop and grow and mature to something different it's okay for the character to change it's okay to, for a character to have a relationship to have a family if anything um, it brings more at least to me, it brings more depth to the character because now he has to juggle uh, being a family man and you know saving the world. It's okay to have that. I mean, in fact, uh, I believe that certain um, heroes does have actually had a family and have done um, has done still go out and fight crime. So uh, to me, it, it it I just know that they did a bad excuse. As for this new twist, um, I all have to say is this. Um, Again, I am not shocked about this. At least they didn't do what they did the last time, where um, they 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 said that Peter Parker was not Spider-Man at all. It was something. He was actually a I, um, a fake, um, aka the Clone Wars. Um, I, I just don't think uh, Clone Saga, by the way. I, I don't think uh, this is gonna hurt the series any more than what it always been hurt before. If anything. Um, I'll say just give it a few issues, see what they do, see how they um, how they go about doing it. Um, I don't think Peter Parker is dead, and believe me, if um, anger continues in this in the storyline, it's bad, and that's the whole thing about it. The storyline has to be awful. Then you better believe they're gonna write him back as soon as possible. They're gonna scrap it very fast. They're gonna find a way to get him back. Uh, but if there is a actual story to be told from this, and the story is good. I think we should just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Um, mind you, again, I don't think they're going to keep him out. I, I see an average for six to seven months, maybe even a year, but he's going to come back. Um, I, I don't see Peter Parker not being in that in that series. Um, it's just not going to happen. I mean, come on. Um, how many times that somebody assumed the role of Spider-Man only to have Peter Parker reclaim his, his rightful throne? Um, it's just never going to go. It's never going to fly. In my opinion, um, <clears throat> I, I think people need to calm down a little bit with the with the death threats. I mean, there's no need for that. I mean, you can be mad. You have every right to be mad. Um, uh, with the way they treat this character, you have every right not to trust um, those writers at Marvel to to do to to, uh, to do Spider-Man justice. Uh, but to me, this is all just a shake-up move uh, to get readers to read the comic books again, uh, to get people solely interested in the story. Um, and if there's a story to be tell, I think that 
at least for one thing. Just, let's give it a shot, man. See what happens. So that's my overall feeling of that. Um, I'll tell you one thing. Those, those writers, I hope they know what they're doing. I really do because, like I said, a lot of diehard fans are not forgetting the other, sto other, other stories that went bomb. So let's just, let's just pray that they get it right this time. Um, so that's just my honest opinion about it. I'm not going to go nuts. I'm not mad. I'm not angry. Again, this, I, I was not caught off guard by it because um, there was the people who did a short review on the, on the matter. And uh, to be honest with you, it's all about let's just wait and see. It's all about let's see what's going to happen. And if it works, fine. If it doesn't, um, you better believe um, that they're going to bring them back a lot sooner than what they expected to do. So all i got to say is let's just follow the story from now. Um, and see where that where where it takes it. Um, right now, can't be any worse than within one more day. That's the best thing I can say. It can't be any worse than one more day. Um, so that's just my opinion. As usual, I like to hear you guys' own thoughts on this matter. Um, have you uh, are enraged at what they did in Spider-Man 700? Are you actually think it's a good thing? Are you a detractor who says enough is enough with the Spider-Man series? I'm not going to read anymore. Or it doesn't matter either way. Let me know in the comment section. I'd like to know what you guys' opinion on the matter. So until then, this is Jason 7 saying take care, be safe, and I'll be back with this baby right here. <laughs>